Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to show you a few different ways to emboss for your ATC cards. Now you can use this on anything. You can use this for greeting cards. You can use this for ATC cards. You can use this for uh, things in your art journal, on your mixed media paintings, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few different things that you can do. Now this is the Sizzix Big Shot and they come with a million different dies. Uh, the dies are very... Um, inexpensive uh, and you don't always necessarily have to have the machine to do it and I'll show you those uh, in a minute but you can see they come in all kinds of different they're inexpensive and what I'm gonna do is put my paper in like that and you can make sure it's you know straight not straight whatever way you want because we're just gonna be using it for our ATCs anyway and like that and I'm gonna set it on there I'm going to set use your, you know, if you have this embossing machine, you know how it works. And then you just do this. I go the one way and then I go back way. You can make noises with it if you want. All right. And then you will see, look at that. It's embossed. So now, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So let's do another one that I have, just a couple, to show you different kinds. There are, oh my goodness, so many. This is a clock one. This is a music note one. This is a steampunk one. <coughs> you get uh, that cool thing in there. So grab another piece of paper. Sorry, James. <laughs> my dog. Sorry. Oh my goodness. All right. So now you know you can't use this big a piece of paper because obviously it's not going to be big enough. So just kind of stick it where you think. You know, and I always just cut up a little, little past it, and then I can get two sheets from that. Very simple. I'm very, I'm very loose <laughs> when I do stuff like this. Okay. So now we'll use the steampunk the gears. Again, just put, this is just, uh, what's it called? Um, scrapbook paper, you know. What is it called? I just lost all train of thought. Anyway, it's white paper. <laughs> you can use printer paper. I don't know. Don't ask me. And then I'm going to put my top on. And I'm going to do my thing. Do my thing. Do my thing. And then bring it back. Okay. And then take it out. Look. Look at that. You can have either the indent side or that side. Oh, the fun. All right, so I'm gonna lay that one there. My dog's very upset. Why are you upset? Why are you so upset? Okay, instead of doing the clocks, I'm gonna pull out this one. Okay. And this one is, looks like that. I'm gonna put another piece of paper in it. I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to roll it through. You hold on to it. You do your thing. Okay. Like that. And then bring it back. Okay. And there we go. Look at that. And then there's the other side. Oh, so cool. So that is with the big shot. Now... If you don't have a big shot, what can you do? Well, I'm going to clean this up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so let's say that you have embossing folders or you find one at the store that you want. Maybe it's on clearance. Maybe you're using your uh, 50 off uh, coupon or what have you. So what we'll do is we will use this one. It could be anyone. And now I have some scrap of paper. Very simple. And what you're going to do, you want a thin, you want a paper that's absorbent. Printer paper would be great. Scrapbook paper would be great. Try your mixed media paper, watercolor. Try anything you have. Don't think that you can only use, you know, one thing. Then what I like to do is I like to take water and I squirt it. Maybe you have, um, maybe you have some of these that you don't want. You might not like the, um, the whatever, you know, whatever the uh, embossing is on it. <clears throat> Maybe you can trade it with somebody. So I'm just squirting water on both sides per fairly uh, wet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that sit for a minute. 
And I'm just going to lift it up, take it off so I can wipe this water off. All right. You can see it's wet. It's flimsy. That's what you want. You want those fibers to get wet. And then I'm just going to lay it in my embossing folder. I'm going to push it down and I'm going to take my hands. Now you can use your roly poly on this, which I'll show you, but you can see I'm pushing down where I see these holes. You know what I mean? Where this, where the uh, embossing is going to be. Let me grab Oh, I'll use this. You know, you can just kind of push hard down. And if you don't have the strength, don't worry. You don't need to. I really don't have the strength right now, but I just want to show you. <coughs> My goodness, I'm choking today. Turn it the other way. Run your hands over those embossing parts. Push it down. Do the same thing. Just helps you get in there. Okay. Then, I like to just give it a push for one more. Okay, open it up. Look. Look at that. You don't need no stinking embossing machine. Look at that. Look. Would you even know which is which? <laughs> now just let this dry and you will um, be ready to work with it. So I'll do it one more time if you guys, uh, just to show you guys, I'll use a different one just so um, you guys see it. We'll use this one since then you can compare it with that. My cat's down here. Okay. So I'm just squirting it, squirting it. This is just scrap of paper. Normally you don't want to wet. Look, if you don't have a spray bottle, take your, take your brush with some water and go like this. <laughs> I mean, we're not, we're not going in the Olympics here, are we? Look. And then turn it over. Just be careful because it'll get wet and it'll tear if you're not a little bit careful with it. So you see I have that water. Just that there. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to take, this is just a Sizzix. Now they have at AC Moore and Michaels and them, they don't, they have different brand in Sizzix as well, which are even cheaper. Uh, it's usually a store brand and stuff. So look around, you'll find them. Maybe you find them at the thrift, at the thrift store, who knows? So you just lay this in, same thing. I'm going to pick it up. I just kind of push both sides. You know, I really want to, uh, and I won't use anything. I'll just use my hands this time to show you, but I really want those. It'd be as embossed as I can get it. I'm going to turn it over and do this end. And what it does is the paper gets uh, malleable. Is that the word I want to say? But then you can, um, you know, it's going to imprint. Okay. So I didn't use anything. I can always tear this off. Look how easy because it's wet. You know, if you want to be a little more neater. I'm not somebody who's really neat, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm a neat person as my personality, as I'm sure you guys already know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right. So that's it. I give it a little like, like that, a little like that, open it up and you get a little of that. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, my light's not showing real good. But yep, you got it both ways. Nice and textured. This one's a harder one to see, but you can see it kind of. So that is so much fun. So fantastic. So those are that. That is those. That is this. That is those. Okay. So let me get a drink of water real quick. Got a fever today. I'm not feeling well. I hate this crap. Okie dokie. So now let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Something I like to do um, is, all right, these are the ones that we embossed. So we're going to set these aside. Just they need to dry, obviously. So I'll set them under the light. These are these. So let's pick one. Let's pick this one. So what size do we, what side do we want to use? So you have that side, which is delicious. And then you have that side, which is delicious as well. I just don't know. So 
what can we use to, um, the heck was that noise that came out of my <laughs> mouth? Well, you can use your, just like I did the other day, our distressed inks. And let me find my, let's use this. Come here, little friend. Uh, come here. This is just a stencil brush from Plaid. And it is a 3 8 I'm going to wet it a little bit and then dab it off. And then I'm going in. And you can see right away how it picks up that color. Now, this can be any uh, ink pad that you have. You can get very cheap ones at the dollar store, even at the, gro at the uh, grocery store, <laughs> at the craft store, because uh, they don't have to be permanent necessarily. If you can buy permanent, if you can buy um, Memento and Archival Ink and Stays On and that kind of thing, more power to you. I think it's great. Uh, but uh, yeah, so here we go. All right, now I'm going to go in. I'll take some of that. I don't want too much of that on. And I'm going, you know what? Let's do this side first. And it's not gessoed or anything. And this is one way to do it. You don't have to do it this way. You do whatever way you want. But if you run it over, look. I love what this looks. See how I'm just running it over those? Here is what it looks like when it's thicker, right? When you put it on and it's more of a, um, how do you say, uh, more coverage. You know what I'm saying? And here you could see where it just picks up on those little, oh, I love that. It's very, and if you go the other way, it'll pick up other parts of the uh, divots as well. Look at that. Okay, so that is, I'm going to get out my little ATC card. And we're just going to cut it. I keep putting my scissors back, even though I need them. I know I'm going to need them. Okay. So for everybody who's nervous about backgrounds and all that, look how much fun. I'm going to make a bunch of these already. I got so many of these different things. I'm going to make a bunch and then do a giveaway for them. But remember your ATC card. Now you can see right here. Obviously, I didn't measure it correctly because I it should be embossed there, but we're not going to... Let's do this. We'll pretend like that's a regular ATC size card because, you know, but it's three and a half by two and a half. But you can see there starts your background right there, right? Now, what about this other side? We're looking at all that emboss. What's it going to look like? Let's see. I'm just going to drag it. Look. I didn't even put it in the ink yet into the pad. Of course, you can do this with paint, your markers. So this is going to give you a very light look to it. Can you see where it picks it up a little bit? Let's get a different color and see what we can do. Let's do purple. Okay. I'm going in for some purple. I'm not even going to rinse clean off my oh yeah look at that oh yeah oh, oh, oh yeah oh gosh look at this come on are you even kidding me look at that how pretty let's uh do it over here I'm gonna see what it looks like oh my goodness gracious look at this oh my life today this this makes my life complete today. Come on now. Oh, look at that. ATC background right there. Right there. And this is the poofy part sticking out. This is the part, the back part. Which doesn't matter what size you use, what side that you use, because it's all texture and delicious. Depends on what your mood is. Look how awesome. You know what would be fun? Well, I'll do another video and we'll do because I can go on here for hours. This, the jelly plate, all this stuff. I can go for hours, 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 hours. Okay. So you see that. Fantastic. So let's say you don't have any of these and you want to do something. 
you know, you want to have a little bit. It's kind of the same thing with the jelly plate. Pick something that you want to use to draw with. I have many um, things, but I can't find them. I'll use my clay thing. This is my clay sculpter. But what I'm going to do is, now you can heat this a bit with your heat gun or hair dryer if you want to make it a little bit more malleable. You don't have to. But again, I'm not going to sit here and doodle and all and show you exactly what to do, what shapes and all, because y'all, you know, you have your own. But I'm just going to go in and emboss. Might be easier for me with a pen. Yeah, it's embossing, but it's going to tear it because I have to be a little rough with it. And um, I don't want to do that. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just use our pencil. Plus, you'll be able to see it better. Now, look, I'm just making marks. I'm not, we're not going to win the Olympics here again. Don't ask why I keep saying that. Maybe I pretend like I'm an Olympian. I don't know. Do some sigil uh, work. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but anyway, I'm just doing my thing. Just some markings so you can see. And what this is going to do, again, you can do circles, you can do um, flowers, you can do hearts. Hearts are always my go to. You can do a heart. You can do a rose. <laughs> you can do uh, just regular squibbles. I mean, for, all, for us that have some hand problems sometimes and aren't able to do everything that we want to do, next time maybe I'll draw a person on here like a... Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it now anyways. Okay, so you see this very, and I'll show you what we'll do. Now let's see if I can draw. I'm going to do a, we'll go full guardy. Just a little circle. We'll do, she's sleeping, of course. You could do her eyelashes. Her little nose. Her lips. Give her some hair. Her neck, you can give her dress. Very simplistic. You see what I'm doing, right? Just to show you guys. You can give her little shoes. Doesn't matter. Give her little hands. I think there she's flipping the finger. I'm not real sure, but could be. Okay, see what I'm saying? All right, you get it. I mean, you take more time, not today for me. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, we'll do the purple, and we'll do both, and I'm going to get a piece of paper to sit here with me. Paper, where'd you go? Where'd my, all my paper go? Anyway, we'll just use this. Okay. And my brush, and I'm going in. And we'll go into this one first, and I'm just... I'm gonna lay it down. This is one way you can do it. The way I like to do it, that's for people who don't want to get their hands dirty, but for people like me, <laughs> who always have their hands dirty, with paint, of course, and garlic and food, probably. Look at that. So we have that ATC card, a little thumbprint of mine. You're rolling on there. You take it off. Look at that. So you just did that with a pen and some nonsense and you have a background. Is it poofy like these? No, but look, you start there. That's as easy. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. It's fantastic. So then if you want to do the girl on the other side, just take her. And you can kind of see when you draw on the thinner foam anyway where your stuff's at. So you'll get enough ink, you know. You can use regular paint as well. You don't have to use your your uh, ink pad. And look. So much fun. So much fun. 
it's literally a, a big pack for two bucks of very thin kids foam. How much fun is that? I mean, you can't ask for more. All right. Now, last thing I want to show you is a little bit on these. These are still a little bit wet, um, but I don't have the patience right now to let it dry. So I'm just going in. I have my brush. Use whatever brush you have. Use a cotton uh, swab, a Q-tip. Use um, uh, a cotton ball, whatever you have. I'm going to flip this. Which way do I want to use this? I'll do it this way. I'll do the bottom. And I'm just going in real light. Remember, this is still wet. So. Okay. So you see how beautiful that did that? Look at that. How it picked on the outside. Let's do the other side to show you. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Look at that. ATC background right there. Beautiful. Or you could do it that side. Beautiful. All right. And the same with the circles. Going back in. I'm going to hold it on. I like holding up here and dragging it. Now I'm dragging it this way. But then what I want to do, and I'm not pushing hard. You can, but I'm not. Remember, this is just the water and the um, the uh, folder. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I can go this way. So I pick it up from all sides. You can just do this one if you want it like that. Look. I mean, look at that beautiful, beautiful background. And then you have this side yet. So we'll go one more time. And this one's almost dry, so that's good. But look. Oh, is this fun. This is so much fun. Look at that. I am in love. In love. So, so many different ways. Like I said, you don't have a, a uh, die cutting machine or whatever it's called, die cutter. You have your own imagination. Right? Look. Life is not that bad. Let's do this one again. I like this one. Put it on here. See if I have any ink left on there. Look at that. Oh, just delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys try this. Um, let me know down below. Do you want to... Uh, I can make a bunch of these. Would you like these in a giveaway? I know I have to do a giveaway coming up. I'm a little behind. Please excuse me. My life is a mess. <laughs> oh, I want to cry. Um, but let me know. I would love to make a bunch of these papers and give them away. Give them away to one person, two persons. Who knows? Let me know down below. I'd be glad to. If you don't have any of these things and you'd like to try this, you can use your watercolor paints, your Crayolas. You can use your markers. You can use your crayons. You can have fun. Do it with the kids. All kinds of fun. So, um, you know, let me know. I'd love to know down below. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I do and like this video. And share me with all of your friends. And subscribe if you just found me. I'd really appreciate it. I have tons of content on here from mixed media to art journaling to clay to uh, knitting to all over the place, jelly plate and just all kinds of fun stuff. And I love you guys. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.